Good morning guys, my name is Brian McGlenn with Marine Max Eard Stewart. Today I'm standing in front of and going to give you a walkthrough of a 2023 Aquila 32 Sport. For those that don't know, uh, the Aquila 32 Sport is a great entry level into the Aquila brand. Uh, for those looking to go day boating, intercoastal cruising, cross over to the Bahamas, this boat will do a little bit of everything very nicely. Let's walk over here to the stern, start in the back of the boat and do a quick walkthrough. So starting here in the back of the boat guys, a couple things to note. One, the engine power, powered with twin 300 Mercury V8s, pushes the boat along really nicely. This boat can cruise at speeds anywhere from 25 up to 35 miles per hour, top end close to 50. Being a catamaran haul, everyone knows, very well known for the stability and the solid ride offshore, uh, so kind of eliminates that need for a sea keeper that you see on a lot of uh, comparable 32-foot mono hauls. One really nice feature to note that you'll actually see throughout the Aquila line from their boats as small as 32 feet up to 70 is the extremely large dive ladder. Uh, so great access point into the boat, great handles, four-step ladder, grab handles as you walk onto the dive platform. So if you're backed up to a sandbar or an island, just creates a really nice way to uh, board the boat. Let's hop on board and take a look at a couple more of the features. So starting here in the cockpit of the Aquila 32, first thing I'd like to note is just the amount of space here in the cockpit. This boat has close to a 13 foot beam, which just creates a very expansive social space. You'll see you have seating off the port and starboard side, nice cockpit table, which is a two part table, folds back and forth. And then more seating here along the uh, aft portion of the boat. Uh, this backrest does fold up and down, and then you have another portion that will fold out, basically to join this aft seat to this port side lounge. You have three gates for safety, so one off to the port side, one here in the center, swinging gate, and then one off here to the starboard. These are repositionable, so they just pull out and then drop back in you have built-in cup holders uh, so you can set your drinks down if you're sitting in either one of these aft seats. So great safety feature if you have kids on board or dogs you can completely close off this back portion of the boat. You do have a aft uh, sunshade which extends out into the cockpit. It's going to cover these seats here in the back. Nice uh, storage under all the seats. Under this seat specifically you do have a built-in insulated cooler with a drain. Everything will drain directly overboard. Moving up here to the port side of the boat, um, you do have a good co-captain's chair with a fold-down bolster and then a reversible backrest. So again, just to expand the entertaining space here in the cockpit. Over on the starboard side, captain's uh, station. Again, two flip-down bolsters, nice comfortable helm station. Upgraded electronics package, so you have a single Raymarine hybrid uh, touchscreen display, uh, so that's going to do all your chart plotting, sonar, radar if you'd like to add one. Mercury vessel view here in the center for all of your engine data. Fusion head unit uh, for your stereo. Mercury joystick, which we're all familiar with. Skyhook, autopilot, everything built in. Mercury digital throttles um, with your active trim. So. Very nice helm station to do everything you need. As we move back here to the port side, magnet, uh, we have some storage down here right now, uh, but you do have one nice berth, sleeping for two if you would like. That is air conditioned, so this boat does have a 5KW Fisher Panda in it, um, so you can power your air conditioning when you're away from the dock. Being a catamaran hull, it's amazing to uh, note the amount of headroom you have when you're down there. So you could walk down, there's probably about six and a half, seven feet of headroom. Nice summer kitchen here in the center of the boat. So you do have an optional electric grill, optional sink, I'm sorry, standard sink. Storage um, area keeps this in place so it won't slide around on you. Refrigerator down below and a trash can. Off to the starboard side is your head compartment. So again, I'll walk down here just so you can note the amount of headroom. So plenty of clearance. You've got your head, a fan, a sink, 
and then Mechanics Dream is the accessibility here back behind the uh, helm station. It's a great access to your electronics, battery chargers, and everything else you need. And then, of course, this is air conditioned as well. As we walk up to the bow, you do have a uh, fold over windshield with a passage door to completely block off access to the bow. And then just really great bow seating. Nice, comfortable area. You have fold down armrests. This is a filler cushion that will place right here in the middle of the two seats to expand your seating. Windless anchor up front. Uh, no bridle system needed on a 32. Um, due, just due to its size. And then the amount of storage on this boat's incredible. So you look down below, incredible storage. A lot of people store their bow ladder down here. So this boat is offered with a optional bow ladder that goes up here in the front of the boat. So gives you ease of access. Uh, if you were to bow into a sandbar or a beach. So again, that's a quick walkthrough of the Aquila 32 here at Marine Max Stewart. Feel free to give us a call if you'd like to see this boat in person or learn more. 772-287-4495. Thank you.